a little bit of background on how I did the book, why I did the book. Um, well, first of all, I, you know, I think a lot of the origins of this book come out of, of a ignorance, a general ignorance uh, that I have and most people in my generation have for the Korean War. You know, why were we there? What was it about? Was it a war? What, what, what was the thing? And, you know, it's, dr it's just dreadful how uh, poorly it's taught in the schools. And, um, you know, I just wanted to know what it was all about. And I decided that the actual narrative of the Korean War, all three years of it, is an impossible narrative to get your arms around. It's just too complicated. But if you could find one battle that sort of was the master key that unlocked an understanding of that war, um, what would it be? I spent about five minutes on that question. It was the Battle of Chosen Reservoir. Um, and uh, for all kinds of reasons, which we'll go into with the slides and everything, but um, this all really started, uh, in a way, it started way back when I was growing up in Memphis and I uh, was aspiring to be a writer and I met this amazing writer, the very first writer I ever met, was a military historian and a narrative historian. Uh, this is Shelby Foote, uh, the Civil War historian, uh, the beard and the pipe, and the, he smelled like a writer, he looked like a writer, you know, this amazing accent. Those of you who saw the Ken Burns documentary on the Civil War uh, know who I'm talking about. And, uh, you know, I, I, I looked at this kind of creature from afar in Memphis uh, and wondered, could I be like that? Could I be like... What is that thing called a historian? And uh, the reason I knew him is because his son and I were in a rock band together. Um, Huggy was his name. Huggy and I were in a rock band called Argus. Maybe you've heard of him. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't really hit it big except in Japan. But um, uh, in Memphis, you know, music's everything. We thought we were going to go places. And we would do everything we could, cranking up the Hendrix and the, uh, and, and, and the Pink Floyd uh, to prevent Shelby Foote from finishing his amazing three volume, you know, 3,000 word uh, trilogy of the, of the Civil War. And so, but later in life, I got to know Shelby better. And I interviewed him for a magazine. And we were talking, and he said, You know, if you're looking for a good idea for a story, for a book, uh, find yourself a battle, a really good battle, a battle that perhaps is not very well known. Because a battle, is this perfect structure. You know, it's got a beginning, middle, and end. It's got this, it's got geography, you know, and this compression of geography. It's got a compression of chronology. It's got, a, you know, it's got obvious conflict and uh, hell and, you know, uh, uh, heroism and, and all the other qualities. Uh, it's, got, it, it's got a trajectory, it's got an end. And, uh, you know, if you can find um, a great battle, there's your story, there's your book. And I always file that away thinking one day maybe I'll do a battle narrative. Um, not being particularly a military guy at all, really. Uh, uh, although my father was in the Korean War, my stepfather was in the Korean War, my father-in-law was in the Korean War, and I, this was my parents' generation's war. And um, I wanted to honor that and uh, understand it a little bit better. So, um, so there was that. And then in, uh, we'll see when it was, 2001, I w was signing books for my, for my uh, book, Ghost Soldiers, which was a book about the Baton Death March, World War II. Uh, I was somewhere in Virginia, and this guy came up to me, uh, he bought my book, and he wanted me to sign it, but he said, you know, but what you should do, really, is you should write about the reservoir. It was, it almost, it was haunting, you know, like the, the reservoir, what, what is the reservoir? And he's like, the reservoir. It's like the most famous battle in the Korean War. Uh, I said, well, I never heard of it. And I'm embarrassed to say I'd never heard of it. And um, he said, uh, well, you should write about it. And he put this card down right in front of me that said, the chosen few, which is the name of these guys who fought in this battle. They call themselves the chosen few. And I noticed that he was missing three of his fingertips from... Um, it turned out from frostbite because these guys fought in 35 below zero weather it's unbelievable conditions in North Korea and I uh, I was like I say embarrassed to say I didn't know what this was about I started reading about it 
you know, filed it away, and I decided, you know, over time that this would be a great book, and one of the great battles, according to the Shelby Foot, you know, uh, school of thought uh, on 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 on, you know, how how to write about uh, something that has a, sort of this nat natural structure. Um, so, uh, I also just felt like, you know, why is this? What, what is the story with the, you know, why why do we not seem to understand the Korean War in its proper context. Um, why is it the Forgotten War? Uh, I, I wanted to try to grasp, you know, <clears throat> grapple with that a little bit. Uh, I don't know that it's really the Forgotten War anymore. Um, if you've been to Washington and seen the Korean War Memorial, it is thronged all night and day, you know, with people. And it is a haunting and beautiful uh, memorial, actually. And um, and of course, then there's Mash, uh, endless <laughs> episodes of Mash. Great, great show that holds up a lot. I've, I've been ha hanging out a lot with my mom lately, who's quite ill and elderly, and you know she puts on uh, old reruns of stuff, and it's Mash, 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 and man, and that show holds up. But, uh, but apart from that, it doesn't seem to be a war that has the purchase on our national imagination that maybe some of our other. Uh, engagements do, and so I, I kind of want to understand that. So, um, do you think we turn the lights down? And uh, I'm going to go through some slides and kind of talk a little bit about the research I did 